like to talk about small talk again and before we get right to that I just want to show you that we have community tab now right here okay so I usually just post stuff here and there or some polls and all that so you might as well just keep updated on what's going on, on my channel and recently Daya and I just gave an interview with uh, Ethan on dating topic so some people asked me about dating Thai culture and Thailand so this is the video that we uh, had interview and we share some insights you know Daya didn't talk much in this video I pretty much took over the conversation but uh, in the next video she's gonna talk more about business and some like immigration stuff in Thailand okay so I believe I'm live now I think okay so let's just get started for a small talk uh, okay so like I said right it's not very common that we're gonna talk about the weather because it's always hot but because these few days actually these uh, last week it's been chilly and cold so I crow crow right um, it's been chilly and kind of cold okay so I actually talked to taxi driver I struck I struck up a conversation with a taxi driver and I said uh, Akat now, nakha. Akat now, okay. Akat now means uh, it's cold. Akat, akat means air or the weather. Now, now, rising tone. Now, now means cold, okay. Or we can say akat yen as well. Akat yen. Yen is like cool, and now it's like cold, okay. Akad now nakrap for male speakers and akad now nakha for female speakers. Okay. Chuang ni chuang ni means uh, this week, these few days, around this time. Okay. Chuang ni. Another way to say it is now ne, now ne. Okay. Now ne ne is another particle ending particle that we put. Uh, at the end of the sentence, now no, now no. It's like you kind of want to convince the other person that hey, it's cool, isn't it? Okay. All right. Uh, chuang ni, right? Chuang ni, same thing. Now no, chuang ni, chuang ni. Okay. All right. I'm gonna move on to. What time is it in Australia? Akat now no song someone ni Akat right weather Akat now no song someone ni song someone uh, in Thai we don't have a few days or a few so we say song sam two three right song sam one one means day Akat now no song sam one ni okay song sam one ni Ni means this or these. Okay, song song one ni means these few days. Um, not sure how low it gets today. Um, probably. I wouldn't. I don't know. Maybe I feel like seventeen degrees Celsius, but it could be a little higher than that. Akat na non. Another way to say it is akat na non. Three thirty. 320. Hi Robert. Hello from Bangkok. Akat nanon. Akat nanon means the weather kind of makes you lazy. Non means to sleep. Nanon is like it's good for sleeping. Okay, so akat nanon is like the weather makes you feel like wanna roll back to sleep. Okay, no literal meaning means sleep. Nanon is an adjective. Make uh the period is now something that is good to sleep <laughs> so basically it means you're it makes you feel lazy and want to go back to sleep shock d okay 
This one I use a lot with taxi drivers because I, I get asked a lot from some subscribers how do you end conversation or how do you say goodbye to taxi drivers? Um, you say chokdi, okay? Chokdi means good luck. I don't really say see you later to taxi drivers, right? Because we're not going to see them again. I know like see you later actually doesn't really mean that you're going to see the person again. You just say it to end the conversation. But in Thai, we don't really say that to strangers. We say chok di because we're not going to see them again. Chok di, okay? Chok di means good luck. Chok on its own means luck. Di means good. So good luck. Chok di nakha. Chok di nakha. Or chok di nakrap. Okay, so the ending particle na, you can put at the end just to soften the tone. Okay, and if for female speakers, if you want to use na, it's always na ka, not na ka. Okay, it's always high tone. Na ka, na ka. And for guys, always high tone as well. Na krap, na krap. Okay. Okay, so I want to teach you more about how we actually greet with our friends. We're going to start with ngai ga ngai ga ngai is from ben yang ngai okay ben yang ngai or ben yang rai right ben yang rai is formal we learned last time ben yang ngai yang ngai is like how are you basically ben yang ngai and then we shorten to ngai ngai ga this is ng sound okay ngai ga ga is the second pronoun that we call a close close friend only okay and if we super close, like homies, then we say ngai mung, ngai mung, ngai mung. Okay. Ah, uh, I wanna check the sound so far. It sounds good, Daya. <laughs> She's gonna let me know. Ah. Uh, okay. So ngai mung, ngai mung. Okay. Ah. Uh, Deya and I, when we talk in Thai, I usually address her by her name, Deya, and she addresses herself as in Rao. And I usually do the same thing, I address myself as Rao, okay, Rao as the second pronoun. Sorry, first pronoun. So Rao, Rao can be either second pronoun or first pronoun, so it depends on the context. Ngai mung and ngai ke, okay, if you hear that, it means that, you know, that person feel like they're really close to you. <laughs> Okay, and then when you answer, like, you know, how are you, how's it going, ngai mung, ngai ke, and then you say, godi, godi means like, ah, uh, good, good, godi, okay, godi. Um, and sometimes Thai people don't pronounce it, like, clearly, we say, godi, godi, like, really, really short and fast, godi, godi, okay, I should speak louder, okay. I'm... I'm gonna move my microphone. Okay. Okay. means so 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 so. Okay. This is the uh, symbol in Thai to repeat the word before. Okay. If you guys wonder why it's shorter like that. Falling tone. How's the sound, Daya? Do I speak louder? Like, like, do I speak loud enough now? Bye, Tham Araima. Bye, Tham Araima. Okay. Bye, Tham Araima. Let me just increase this volume. Maybe it helps. I don't know. Bye, Tham Araima. Okay. Bye, Tham Araima. So, Bye, Tham. Bye, Tham Araima. Tham means uh, do, right? Araima is what? Ma is a word that you put at the end to make it past tense in Thai. So, what have you done to yourself? Basically, what this uh, you know this sentence mean? By actually, like by literal meaning is go right, but by Tamilima is like, what did you go and do to yourself? Basically, it's like it just sounds like why do you look that way or why do you gain weight? Which I'm gonna get into in a second. Um, ไปทำอะไรมาสวยขึ้น Okay, ไปทำอะไรมาสวยขึ้น So it could be a compliment. What have you done to yourself? You look prettier. สวยขึ้น Okay, ขึ้น means up, and we use the 
we use kun with soy because it's positive. So anything positive, usually we say we put we use kun as a comparative degree of the adjective. Okay, soy kun. Uh, prettier, soy kun. Hold on. Soy gua and soy kun. Okay, soy gua means someone is more beautiful than the other person, but soy kun is like the same person just get prettier. Okay, that makes sense. Because they're both comparative degree, right? Soy gua, that means like you compare two people. Soy kun is like the same person, you know, just get prettier within the same body. Okay. Uan kun. ไปทำอะไรมาอ้วนขึ้นอ้วน means fat okay, or big or chubby ไปทำอะไรมาอ้วนขึ้น so what have you done to yourself you look fatter ไปทำอะไรมาผอมลง okay ผอมลงผอมลง means uh, you lost weight or you get slimmer okay so uh long low long means down okay down let me check the a bit loud actually oh okay a bit loud i move my microphone okay central charm or okay sydney or melbourne okay all right thank you for letting me know about australian time hi alex thank you for letting me know about the sound as well Palm long, palm long, so thinner. Palm means thin or small. Long means down. Okay, so palm long is like smaller. ไปทำอะไรมาผอม long. Okay. ไปทำอะไรมาขาวขึ้นไปทำอะไรมาขาวขึ้น Uh, means what have you done to yourself? You are paler or whiter. ขาว means white. Okay, ขาวขึ้นคล้ำขึ้น Klam Kun is darker darker Klam means dark Klam Klam okay high tone Klam Klam Kun means uh, darker Tan Kun so nowadays we use translated word tan okay ไปทำอะไรมา tan Kun okay we use that word tan like T A N tan in English and the last one is Dam Kun okay Dam Kun is black like more black Oh, basically, it mean the same thing. Clum kun and dam kun. Uh, dam actually is. Dam has negative connotation in Thai. Okay, it says we don't like he hearing that. Uh, except me, I like being tan. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna show you a scene. Uh, with me and Dea, uh, we are talking, and this is this is actually what I don't like being greeted in Thai because. I don't like when people talk about my appearance, but I'm kind of used to it because, you know, I was born and raised here. But at the same time, I don't think Thai people uh, like making fun of appearance. I think they're, ju they're just only some people that do that. And I think it's because we kind of let them get away with it because we're like, sabai, sabai, and relax and chill, right? So we don't really, you know care too much when they people talk about appearance you just be like yeah whatever um yeah so i don't think that's our culture to actually like you know refer to appearance or talk about that so much i think it's just some people that love talking about that just to make them feel a little better uh, about themselves okay so uh, I'm gonna show you the C now. We're gonna start with the uh, slow, with the uh, natural speed first, and then we're gonna go to like slow speed. Okay, we're gonna go through it together, and I'm gonna explain what she said and what I said in Thai. Aria, ไม่ดูอ้วนขึ้นปะเฮ้ยจริงเหรออ้วนขึ้นอ่ะแล้วก็ดําขึ้นไปปะอ๋อนี่เนิ่งไม่ได้เลยมาอ๋อเหรอไ
อกคือวิ่งอยากได้บ้างอ่ะอ๋อเดี๋ยวก็มีเดี๋ยวเราไปก่อนนะต้องรีบไปทำงานโอเคบายบายจ้าโอเค now let's take a look at the slower speed อาเดีย so I said to her อาวเดีย right so อาวอาว Uh, if you guys watch the video that I made on small talk, that I explained that ow means uh, oh hey or even hi in Thai. So ow actually means uh, if you look up in a dictionary, it would be translated as in like you know showing you surprises, right? But in this case, or most of the time, we don't really show our surprises, but we just like oh hey, okay, ow deya, ow deya. So it's like hey deya. Okay. Ow, what the sala? Ow, what the sala? Okay. Ow. So she's like, ow, me back, right? Um, you know, if you remember how to say hello in Thai, it's so what the. Okay. So what the. But we dropped it a lot. We uh actually dropped the first syllable sa. Then it would be what the, what the sala. Ow. วัดดีซาร่า and you probably hear that more often than สวัสดี even okay ค่ะดีจ้า hi Joe welcome to my channel okay and then she said วัดดีจ้าวัดดีจ้าวัดดีจ้าจ้า is uh, ending particle put at the end okay so she and I were friends right we were friends so We use ja a lot instead of ka. Okay, ja is more like uh, ending particle that we use with friends or someone we close with. Ah, d i n a Dio na. And she's like, hang on a minute, right? Dio na. It's like wait, and she's just like pretty, pretty much scanning my body, and she said, t a m a i do. She asked me the question why, but most of the time when we use the word why, we actually don't mean to ask for a reason why, but we actually want to make a statement, as in, you look fatter. Okay, t a m i Why do you look fatter? Or it looks like you gain weight. Okay, d o means appear. Okay, or come across. Uan fat. Uan k u n fatter. Okay, pa. This word ba, this one actually me uh comes from plow plow so plow. Plow is or not okay. This one. Plow so it's it's actually come from l i p plow. l i p p l o w means or not, and then we shorten to p a Okay, so in full it would be t a m a i do u n k u n r u p p l o w like or not, and then we shorten it to p a t a m a i do u n k u n p a t a m a i do u n k u n p a Okay. t a m a i do u n k u n p a Hey. Yeah, with that look, right? Hey. <laughs> so hey is exclamation like. Oh no! Oh really? Okay. j i n g l o j i n g l o Okay. If you notice, um, I mean, if you can hear me clearly, p u m p u i Oh, p u m p u i means one. Yeah. <laughs> um, p u m p u i means chubby. Yeah. j i n g l o Okay. So in Thai we say j i n g l o j i n g l o Okay. But sometimes the ng sound here. We blended with the R here, and R actually dropped completely. So Jing O, Jing O, you can hear that as well. Jing O instead of Jing Le, Jing Le. Okay, and 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 in this clip, I actually said Jing O, like you know, pretty clear n g o n g u or n g u t sound, right? Jing O, Jing O, on k u n a She's like, oh uh, yeah, oh uh, means yeah, on k u n a on k u n a Ah, uh, it's also an ending particle we put at the end instead of ka or ja. Uan kun ah, yeah, uan kun. แล้วก็แล้วก็ means and, okay, in conversation. แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วก็
ดำขึ้นด้วยปะดำขึ้นดำขึ้น blacker or more black ด้วย t o o t o k ดำขึ้นด้วยหรือเปล่า o k s h o r t e n to ปะดำขึ้นด้วยหรือเปล่าดำขึ้นด้วยปะดำขึ้นด้วยปะ she's so mean นิดนึง and then I say further นิดนึงนิดนึง means a little bit okay or you can say นิดหน่อยนิดหน่อย those two are interchangeable a bit chubby okay so นิดนึงนิดนึงเพราะ okay เพราะเพราะ means because เพราะว่าเอาเพราะไปทะเลมา okay มา okay a word that signifies past tense in Thai ไปทะเลมาทะเล means uh, literal meaning means sea or ocean yeah the sea okay but basically we mean we go to the beach okay เพราะไปทะเลมา okay ทะเล means sea but if you say ไปทะเล it means going to a beach เพราะไปทะเลมา I said yeah a little I just went to the beach ไปทะเลมาเอ๋อหรอไปทะเลใครอ่ะ a l o a l o means oh yeah a l o okay oh really something like that ไปทะเลกับใครอ่ะ okay so ไปทะเล go to the beach right กะกะ actually shortened from กับกับ okay กับ this one yeah shortened from กับ so she shortened to กะกะ so just drop The final consonant. ไปทะเลกับใครอ่ะใคร means who. Okay, with whom you go with. ไปทะเลกับใครอ่ะ She's being nosy. Okay. ค่ะไปกับแฟน And I said ไปกับแฟนใหม่ Okay. Then I I use กับ right instead of กะไปกับแฟน Okay. Fan means girlfriend, boyfriend, spouses, husband, wife, partner. Okay. So it's a little confusing. When someone say fan, it could either mean mistresses, uh, boyfriends, girlfriend, whoever that you have uh, relationship with, either casual or serious relationship. So, fan. Um, this is what I think. Okay, I think in Thai culture we don't really have like back then in those days we don't really have the culture of dating or courtship, cause we actually just meet the person and marry. You know. That person, right? Just pretty much from the get go. I don't think we actually had that kind of dating culture before, uh, so that's why we use the word fan, which actually comes from fan, F A N fan, in English, which means someone who admires you or praises you or, uh, you know, like your big fan. You know that 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 meaning in English, right? And so that's why we use that word from English, for the word. Fan in Thai, which means girlfriend, boyfriend, partner, husband, wife. Okay, and even though you're married to the person, sometimes we still, you know, refer to a wife or husband as fan as well. Um, my mom, and my dad refer to each other as fan when they talk to strangers and they mention about uh, the other person. So that's pretty common. Okay, for this word fan. Fan my my means new. Okay, so I said I went to a new boy uh, with a new boyfriend. My. It's hard. I'm sorry. Okay, if you guys ever watch my um my my side video. Fan my. It's hard. It. So if you ever watch my video from my side, my side means uh the feeling of being. Could be could range from the degree of mild as in like I'm oh, I'm jealous and like explicitly said, okay, or it could be like the feeling of like hating someone, okay. So in this scenario, Daya actually <laughs> presents herself as a little bit of both uh, hatred and jealousy, okay, because she. Actually acted it out like it's shown through her her expression and gestures. Itcha means jealous. Okay, na man sai man sai is a verb. Na man sai is an adjective. Okay, so it means like ah uh, I'm I'm just being jealous of you and I don't like hearing it. Okay, from from her gestures. Itcha na 
Mansai is uh, is a very <laughs> Mansai is hard to explain, you know, with one word. Okay, so there's some nuances in this term, and I recommend that you go and watch the video. I'm gonna include the link below later because I already made that video from Mansai. Okay. Mansai. Oh, ho, okay, ho. Um, actually, I said something like ah, oh, oh, ho, ho. It's like oh, come on. Okay, okay I'm supposed to say die, go die, but <laughs> I just I found it was so funny that the way she expressed it, so I couldn't help bursting into laughter. So, and I just stopped right there. My tongue, okay, no need, no need to mansai. To that level. Okay, cannot is like that level. Okay, I wanna show you this one. My tong cannot nan go die. Okay, my tong man sai cannot nan go die. Go die means it's okay. Okay, so together it means it's okay to not to do that to that degree. Cannot nan is like that degree. Okay, again, go die means it's okay. My tong means no need. And cannot nan means to that level. So my tong can my tong itcha or my tong man say cannot nan go that like it's okay. You don't need to you know be jealous of me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't help my laughing because she's just like oh, acting it me. out so good. Okay, and I said, my tongue My tongue My tongue is Okay, my tongue This phrase means you convince the other person otherwise. Okay, um, for example, if someone man say you right, and I said, my tongue man say Okay, or may don't eat Say, oh come on, it's okay. So convincing the other person to do otherwise. Okay. Um, and I said, I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm hungry and I'm on diet. I say, oh yeah, gin I wanna eat, I wanna eat this, right? And then you're like, may don't gin You try to convince me like, oh lao, may don't gin Okay, like you don't need to eat again or more. You are already like fat. Okay, so you convince the other person to do it. Uh, the opposite things or not doing the things that they want to do then you say my tong da 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 raw okay fill in the blank okay okay is well uh it's exclamation in Thai Yak Dai Bang okay Yak means I want Dai means get อยากได้บ้าง bang here means uh, two okay i want one too อยากได้บ้างอ่ะได้บ้าง okay so she want a boyfriend as well oh and i'm like oh เดี๋ยวก็มีเดี๋ยว is like soon okay เดี๋ยวก็มี you find one soon me me means to have เดี๋ยวเราไปกันนะ and I just politely say, and I just politely say, and I just politely say, excuse myself, okay? Because I didn't want to say anything further. And I usually do that to people that I don't really, you know, want to keep on talking. Because <laughs> they're going to keep asking, you know, about my, my life and my personal life. So I usually just like, okay, bye, I gotta go. เดี๋ยวเราไปก่อนนะ See, I address myself as Rao, right? เดี๋ยวเราไปก่อนนะ Okay? ไปก่อนนะ means I gotta go now เราไปก่อนนะต้องรีบต้องรีบไปทำงานต้องรีบ Okay? ต้อง I have to รีบ is rush rush Okay? ไป go ทำงาน work So I gotta go to work now I gotta rush to go to work now Die, die means okay, sure. Die, die. It's like, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. Okay, bye, bye, da. And in Thai, we say bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, da. Bye, bye, da.
Okay, let's watch it again at normal speed. clip for today. Um, we actually didn't script earlier. I just basically told her to use the word mansai explicitly and that's all. So it came out naturally because this is what we you know go through on a daily basis. Like people will ask about uh, appearance. I understand sometimes it's a compliment but other times it's like uh, criticisms and I don't know just feel weird. I'm never used to it and I remember one time uh, one of my ex-colleagues say that to me like do you think you gain weight and I'm like what do you think like what's your intention what's your goal like what's your objective like what kind of answer you expect to hear do you think I look at myself every day do I know I gain weight or not or she's just like whoa right because I put her on spot and I I mean I I have been curious, like, why did she keep asking me the same question? And, you know, if I actually gained weight, I would be, like, probably 10 kilos by then because she kept asking me, like, 10 times, you know. So, yeah, I actually, yeah, sometimes I just pretty, I'm too straightforward sometimes and I ask people, like, so what kind of answer do you want? What's your intention, right? I put them on spot and I'm, like... <laughs> just laughing sometimes too but I mean you know just just don't sweat okay because you might get asked that a lot like I, I understand like sometimes it's kind of frustrating and I believe that for males you guys probably have high tolerance for this kind of shit right but for females like we don't like hearing that and the more we don't like hearing that the more we hear it that's what I believe okay so now I'm pretty chill and I don't really care anymore but before it's really really bother me um it the fact that they asked me if i gain weight like the fact that i gain weight didn't bother me as much as their intention like what do you want okay but now it's okay okay all right um let's move on to i'm gonna teach you how to wrap up the conversation okay so bye gone na bye gone na bye lao na bye lao na by now, now you can say it too late. I gotta go now. By gone, nah. I gotta go as well. Okay, mean the same thing. By now, nah, and by la nah. Okay, now shorten to la. By la nah, by la nah. Okay, กลับ gone, nah. กลับ gone, nah. ค่ะ. กลับ กลับ means uh return. Uh, basically, กลับ means leave the place. Uh, กลับบ้าน is return home. Okay, กลับ here means to leave. กลับก่อนนะคะ means uh, I gotta leave now กลับก่อนนะครับ ไว้เจอกันนะคะ ไว้เจอกันนะครับ okay this one is like I'll see you later เจอกัน 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 see you again เจอ means see กัน each other okay เจอกัน means I'll see you again later or ไว้เจอกัน why is like uh, soon or then or in the future okay Okay, um, this one I usually say to my friends So sometimes when it's late at night I want to make sure they you know get home safe So I say to them ถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึงถึง
this one is interesting, Ma. Uh, Ma, I'm gonna get back to the message in a second, okay? Ma, Ma, okay? Ma is a direction verb, okay? Ma and bye. Ma, come, right? Bye, go, okay? So, when the speaker mentions about a verb that has a direction towards themselves like this, we use ma, okay? And if we use a verb that has direction opposite of, uh, I mean, outward direction, then we use bai. I give you an example. The word song, song means to send, okay? S E N D send, song in Thai. Uh, if I want to send something to you, I say song bai, okay? Song bai, because that's the outward direction from me, right? Song bai. But if you want to send something to me, you say song ma, okay? Song ma. Okay, you get it, right? Song bai. Okay, I send it to you. Song bai, and you send it to me. I said song ma, song ma. Okay, so it depends on who speaks. Okay, so when I speak it, and I said you, let's say you're in Australia, I said kun song ma. Okay, song ma to Thailand. Okay, and if I say I want to send something to Australia, I song bai, song bai. Okay. So in this case, ถึง ban แล้วไลมา. Okay, the person is me, right? And I tell my friends, ถึง ban, you arrive home, then ไลมา. Okay, you lie to me. Okay, not lie like that. Okay, lie as in like line application. You send a message online to me. Okay, the same goes with ถึง ban แล้วโทรมา. ถึง ban แล้วโทรมา. Toll means uh telephone. Okay. Uh, phone call call me toma so we use the word ma as well here or ถึง ban แล้ว take ma okay text in Thai we say take 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 okay ถึง ban แล้ว take ma ถึง ban แล้ว take ma okay uh จะนอนแล้วโทรมาไลมา this one uh usually I get this one from my uh I don't know Thai boyfriends, let's say, because they usually said that. That non when you go to bed, uh, before you go to bed, or when you're about to go to bed. Lao, then uh, lie, lie ma. Okay, uh, you send a message to me online when you're about to sleep. Uh, to ma, call me before you go to bed. Take ma, that non lao take ma means uh, you know, call uh, text me. When you're about to sleep, okay. So you can use either "จะนอนแล้ว" "ไลมา." Let's say you're dating a Thai guy or Thai girl, and you just want to say good night to them. Uh, you can just text them or you talk to them and tell them "จะนอนแล้วไลมานะคะ?"จะนอนแล้วไลมานะคะนะครับ. Okay.จะนอนแล้วโทรมานะคะ?จะนอนแล้วโทรมานะครับ. Okay.and.จะนอนแล้วเทคมานะคะ?จะนอนแล้วเทคมานะครับ. Okay. All right, that's about it. Uh, let me check the question real quick. Did I poop today? Uh, yeah, I did. Die, die, or God die, both mean it's okay. Uh, die, die, God die. Okay, so the first question. Yeah, pum pui means chubby. Uh, you can say that as well. Pum pui, pum pui. Uh, pum pui is chubby. One. I mean, honestly, I don't really like both of those. Pum pui still sounds fat to me. Uh, having said that, my friend, I have a friend named Pum pui, and she's really cute, and she's not fat. Uh, hu yak dai rian. Okay, so this phrase, hu yak dai rian. So there's uh, one subscriber. Say this one. Who yak dairian? Yak dairian. Okay, so yeah, this one. If you want to use the word yak, okay, we're not gonna use this one. Die. So who yak dairian? Okay, that's the correct way to say it. Who yak dairian? 
I hope you don't mind me correcting. Okay, so we're learning together. Yak, Rien, okay. So Yak can be followed by another word right away. Uh, or you can put Ja, Yak, Ja, Rien. That one is fine too if you want to use it. Yak, Ja, Rien. Uh, but not die, okay? And da also can be dropped if you don't want to have it. Yak Rian. Hu Yak Rian. Hu Yak Rian. like, oh my god, I want to study so bad. Okay. Uh, what do you want to study? Hu Yak Did I answer your question? Yeah. Hu Yak Rian. Yeah, this one. หากอยากเรียนจังเลย okay อยากเรียนจังเลยจังเลย means a lot conversational uh, phrase จังเลย okay uh, I don't quite understand why someone asked me if I pooped today is there are any intention in it oh you mean the maybe that's how people greet you in Thai that's funny um die die go die both means okay yeah, 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 you can say that. Die, 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 yeah, or good die, good die, yeah, good die. Uh, let me think. Don't pay down, nah. Die, die, die. Die, die, it's like, yeah, sure, sure. But good die, it's like someone asks you something and then you say, okay, I can do it, good die. Or the other person can do it. Yeah, good die. For example, um, let's say they uh, ask me, hey, can I come over today? You want to hang out? I said, yeah, yeah, good eye, Masi. said, yeah, yeah, come, come. Yeah. Or I can say, die, die as well. Yeah, basically, they're kind of interchangeable in a way. I think, yeah, they're, they're pretty similar. Good die. But I would say, good die is like you allow the other person or grant permission, okay? But die, die is like, sure, sure. Yeah, can do, can do, something like that. Okay. Pumpui, ah, okay. Pumpui, can you hear me? Question from Vate two four eight seven two one. Pumpui. Pumpui, na ka? Can you hear? Pumpui. Pumpui. Okay, boom boy. Okay, it's a uh, falling tone. Boom boy, <laughs> boom boy, boom boy means uh, shabby or have a have like meat. Boom boy. Uh, kind of voluptuous, but but not really. Boom boy, boom boy. Okay. Oh yeah, boom boy is papa. Okay, not papan. Boom boy. This one, sorry. So papa means aspirated, unaspirated. Okay. So when you put your palm, when you say papa, boom boy, you shouldn't feel any blast of air coming out. Boom boy, boom boy. Okay, but if you say p sound, p sound, p, 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 like that is wrong because it's uh, aspirated. Aspir aspiration means when you say it, there's a blast of air coming out. Okay. All right. Any more questions? No more questions. So, if you get asked or greeted by a Thai person, as in like, what have you done to yourself? You seem like you gain weight. You just say, oh, thank you very much. That's it, and walk off if you don't like it. <laughs> but if you want to keep on going like, oh my god, yeah, I should be on diet. I look so fat, and I feel so fat right now. Just, you know, go ahead and do that, okay? I usually just say, oh yeah, I think I'm fatter. Yeah, thank you for letting me know, and I just walk off. Um, okay? So that's how we... Oh, one more thing that I don't really like being greeted, which is... Uh, Tamai, tamai, uh, like when I don't wear makeup and I look pale, it'd be like, boy, bao, ah. boy, li bao, okay, boy, li bao, boy, li bao means, um, 
for your pal means I use sick, okay? Because I don't wear makeup and like no lipstick, so my uh, lips like pale. Boy, lip la or boy pa, boy pa means like you're are you sick, okay? Or tamay me tang na. Oh my god, this one. I'm pretty sure many many females can relate, okay? Tamay me tang na. Oh my god. Why? Why don't you wear makeup? Okay. My means no, right? Tang na means put on makeup. Tamay me tang na. Okay. Tamay me tang na means why don't you wear? Uh, what? How? How could you not wear makeup today? And I'm like, I'm lazy. Kikiat, kikiat. I'm lazy. I don't want to. Bitch. <laughs> I don't say that, okay? I just like say that in my mind, but like, it's not none of your business. Um, okay, so uh, let me think of something else. My thing, nah. Why today not thing, nah? Why today not thaw pak? Ah, why today not thaw pak? Thaw pak means lipsticks, okay? Thaw means paint, paint or put on. Pak is lips. Uh, so. Pak means mouth, okay? But tap pak means uh, lips. Tamai, why, right? Wani, today. Mai tap pak. No lipsticks on. I'm like, um, mai mi ngen ka. Lipstick mode, nah, I said. No money, ah. Uh. No money, I just use up my lipsticks. And I usually just say, why don't you buy a lipstick for me? Okay, yeah, so that's usually how girls greet in Thai. Sometimes they are mean. Um, if you guys don't have any other questions, I want to wrap up. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Wait, 248721. He said, Son King. Um, okay, there's a question from Fidelity Quester. Hi, Sarah. Can you tell me why there are no spaces between the words in Thai script? Oh my god. Um, that's actually the question I asked when I was little. Honestly, I don't know. Um, let me think. If I had to guess, I think, because, I mean, each word is already completed in itself, right? In English, hmm, let me think. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, right? Because we don't have spaces. Hmm. But as a Thai native speaker, I still find sometimes it's like confusing, like for some words. Well, I'll show you this one. Okay. So this one can be read uh, two ways. So, ta. Glom. I assume I assume that you can write Thai, okay? So I'm just gonna show Thai script. Ta glom means round eye, right? And ta lom. Ta lom means ta means dry and lom means breeze or wind. So it's like you dry yourself with the with wind. So you go out there uh, outdoor and just like lying there and like let the breeze touch your body taklom so as you can see it can be either taklom right round eye or taklom and i have to say that it's confusing you know for us as well <laughs> um i don't know honestly i don't know the but i i can get back to you later why we don't why we have no spaces but my guess would be because each word already kind of is completed in itself. Like, you know, we have initial consonant, vowel, and all that. I think you just need to get familiar with it. Uh, and that works the same way with any language, you know, right? Because you need to familiarize, uh, familiarize yourself with the system, the structure, and either space, uh, with spaces or no spaces, um, you know, you just need to practice. Uh, have you spent time in UK or USA before? I, 
I lived in Canada before for five years, and I was already fluent in English before I went. Okay, I went to Canada in 2008, and I studied there for two years until 2010. Then I was trying to get a citizenship there, how to get a job. So I was, you know, hanging there for another three years, but it didn't go as planned. So I moved back in 2013. Um, six years ago, yeah, six years ago, yeah, and just leaving Bangkok, enjoy my life here. If you guys don't have any other questions, I want to wrap up this session, or I can just keep talking more. Um, so I was trying to live earlier and had some technical problems, so I need to delete that video and just like 10 minutes after, you know, I start, I started this session instead. I hope you guys enjoyed this session, and I will also include the link to Daya scene, the one that she was being mean to me and asking me if I gain weight. Okay, so if you want to study that further, um, I include normal speed, slow speed, and then uh, end it with normal speed. <laughs> Questions? Um, wait, just ask, uh, just say me yot loy, okay? Me yot loy means I have a lot. Me yot loy. Me yot loy. Yot means a lot, conversational term. Means to have, me yot loy. He just said me yot loy, like I have a lot, so I'm not sure which. Uh, of which he means, like as in questions or whatever. Okay. Uh, what else? I think I cover it all. Okay. Um, maybe I touch a little. I touch upon a little bit on the questions or like an opener that you can talk to street vendors because I got asked by uh one of the subscribers. So basically, he asked me like, how would you? talk or have a conversation with street vendors we don't okay unless we become a regular let's say she's a street vendor that you usually pick up uh, drinks or food like so often or regularly you can always ask about their family okay you can ask about their kids their husband even or even ask for how they are you know like like how have you been right remember this one yeah yeah okay um and you can ask a fan fan like how's your husband how's your girlfriend boyfriend and they appreciate that okay when you ask about their family uh let's say yeah, we don't really have like small talk with street vendors at all, even with strangers. And if you actually want to strike up a conversation and they dress, let's say they're wearing something nice or they wear like, you know, really beautiful earrings, you can actually make a compliment and say, Oh, so I tang, okay? Tang hu, so I tang, or sua, so I tang krab, or so I tang ka, something like that. Yeah, you can say that. That's fine. Like, make a compliment. But don't say Uan okay? Like, why are you so fat? That's not nice. Oh, <laughs> you just read my mind. Um, yeah, don't say that. Tell my Uan no. Because wait, just uh, throw a statement and say, Riakwa, Tamwa, Tamai Uan Dang. Okay, that, that's not nice. Don't say that. Okay, what time is it? In... Where are you from, wait? Are you in Bangkok? Yeah, you can ask me anytime and you know leave a comment and I actually want to answer during the live session so I can explain like a lot more than just you know writing but um, I can always catch up with your questions anytime. Okay, if you guys don't have any other questions, I want to wrap up this session. Wow, I talk a lot. It's almost an hour. Okay. Da, da, 
the today is Sunday. Bangkok's uh let me see, I wanna check the temperature. I wanna I, actually it's been really, really chilly. Um actually I like, need a jacket when I you know go out. Which is awesome. I like Bangkok's winter. Okay. Bangkok temperature. It's 26 degrees. Oh, maybe with, with the with the sun. Yeah, it could be. But at night, it could get low to 18 degrees. Yeah, so that's, that's the Bangkok temperature right now. Okay. All right, that's about it, I guess. Thank you very much. Oh, you're going to be an American. Okay, I'm an American. Um, thank you very much for participation and engagement, okay? Actually, today I was gonna, you know, put up a new video and explaining like an edited one, but because of the lighting in my room wasn't that great. And yesterday it was just so frustrating, like I couldn't get the filming done. And so I decided to just do live today. I hope it, you know, went smooth as I expected because I have to keep asking Daya if the sounds okay because I show you guys the video, right? So I have to make sure that everything's fine. Um, yeah. So just bear with me during this kind of experiment, experimenting period because I'm still new with the live stream thing. Um, yeah. So and thank you for you know being patient with me. Um, all right. That's about it. Have a great Sunday. Uh, if you're in Australia. UK, US, it's still Sunday, right? Okay, yeah. And I'll see you again on Wednesday. Well, you know, this Wednesday is going to be a live stream as well. I'm still thinking of a topic. If you have any topic request, you know, let me know. Otherwise, I'll do what I want to do. Okay? See you again on Wednesdays. And please go vote the time that you like or prefer the most for a live stream on Wednesday uh, in the community tab right here okay so i have community tab here and go check out this video as well i talk a lot about dating um okay so i have community tab and all that all right thank you very much and see you again on wednesday